Hey, what's up guys? It's Dark Arm Duel, so Integrity doing a Fire King deck profile. So I'm really excited to do this for you guys because this deck is a super fun deck to play that can basically just destroy all the monsters on the field every standby phase by summoning out our boss monster, Fire King High Avatar Garunix, which is just absolutely amazing to be able to do. So without further ado guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell in there so you can come part of Notification Squad and definitely check out the Patreon down in the description down below for all those awesome rewards like getting your name scripture in a single video, getting assigned cards in the mail, and even getting to request a deck profile every single month your Patreon. So without further ado, let's get straight on into this. So first off, we're going to be playing three copies of our boss monster, Fire King High Avatar Garunix. This card is an awesome three on the deck that has a really cool effect that during the next demo phase, after this card was destroyed by a card effect and sent to the graveyard, special summon this card from the graveyard. And when you do, destroy all other monsters on the field, which is a great effect, especially if you can get two of these cards in circulation, popping one with the other one, so that it'll special summon itself every standby phase to destroy all the monsters on the field, including the other copy, which will activate the other copy of Garunix's effect, which is really cool. This card also has a when destroyed by battle effect that if it does get destroyed by battle, you get to special summon a Fire King monster from your deck to your side of the field, except another copy of this card, which is a great effect. We then play three copies of Fire King Avatar Arvada. Arvada is a great three of the deck and one of the best cards in the entire build. Then when a monster effect is activated, while this monster is on the field, quick effect, you can negate the activation. And if you do that, destroy one other fire monster in your hand or field, which is a great effect to be able to pop a copy of Garunix in your hand because it'll be destroyed by a card effect, which is just super good about this card. And if this card is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, then you can target a Fire Beast Warrior or Wing Beast Monster in your graveyard, except another copy of this card, and special summon it. But it has its effects negated and destroy it during the end phase, which is great to bring back a copy of Garunix on the field and then pop it during the end phase so that during the next standby phase, its effects will go off and special summon itself. We then play three copies of Barong. Barong is the searcher of the deck and a great three of them in the deck that during the next standby phase, after this card was destroyed by a card effect and sent to the graveyard, you get to add a Fire King card from your deck to your hand, which is a great effect for this card to have to be able to grab you any Fire King card that you need. We then play a single copy of Fire King Avatar Yongsha. This card is a great starter for the deck just to be able to pop cards in your hand because it has the ability, if this card is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, that you could destroy one card in your hand or that you control, which is a great effect to be able to pop your copies of Garunix in your hand or even Barong in your hand to be able to get a search or a special summon during the next standby phase. I feel like this card is just a one of in the deck because it's super easy to get to, but we have cards like Fire King Island that kind of do the same thing, but I really like this card in the deck. We then play three copies of the Fire True King. This card is really good in this deck and a great three of. This card is a really awesome effect that if this card is in your hand, and then you can destroy two other monsters in your hand and or face up in your field, including a fire monster. And if you do, special summon this card. And if you do that, then you can manage one monster from your opponent's field or graveyard if both the destroyed monsters were fire, which is a great effect because we're always going to be popping fire cards with this card. So we're going to get that bonus effect. This card is a great starter for the deck while also giving you a boss monster on your side of the field. And I absolutely love playing three copies of this card in the deck, especially since we have cards like Draconic Diagram in this build. We then play a single copy of Gizmic Kaku. Kaku is a great card to be able to play in the deck because it is a level nine monster, but it kind of works like Relinquished, which is really cool. Because if a monster is in the extra monster zone, you can special summon this card from your hand. And then you can target one face up monster in the extra monster zone and equip that face up monster to this card maximum one and when this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle then you can special summon one of the monster cards equipped to this card which is a great effect to basically take control of one of your opponent's monsters i really like this card because it helps you make rank nines in the deck and it's just a really good one of in this build we're then playing two copies of my personal tech card in this deck, and it's two copies of Nine-Tailed Fox, which is really, really cool. I love this card in the deck, because if this card is in the or if this card is destroyed by battle or by card effect and sent to the graveyard, you can special summon out two Fire Fox tokens to your side of the field that are zombie fire level two 
500 attack and 500 defense, which will help you link summon and is really good combo with your fire true king because it'll pop this card in the hand, give you a copy of your fire true king on the field while also giving you two tokens to link summon, which is really good. I absolutely love this card in the deck and you haven't even wasted your normal summon yet by doing that, which is really nice. We then play a single copy of Destiny Hero Dasher and a single copy of Celestial because we are summoning Destiny Hero Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer because it is a Phoenix and it does work with the deck extremely well to be able to work with your copy of Garunix, which is really nice about this build. So these cards are kind of bricks in the deck, but you're just playing them so that you can summon out Destiny Hero Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer. So that's it for the monsters, guys. Let's get into the spells. So for the spells, we're going to be playing a single copy of Terraforming so we can get to our field spell extremely quickly in this deck. We're then playing a single copy of Set Rotation because we're playing two different field spells in this deck, which is really good about this card to be able to just instantly get us to our field spells that we need. This card is just really good overall in the deck to instantly get a field spell on our field and on our opponent's field. We then play a single copy of Draconic Diagram, which is one of the two field spells we're playing in the deck. This card is really good because it can pop cards while also giving as a surge because once per turn you can destroy one other card that you control or in your hand and if you do add a true king card from your deck to your hand which can add your fire true king to your hand while also popping garunix in your hand so that garunix will go off we then play three copies of Fire King Island. Fire King Island is really, really good in this deck, and I really love this card. Because if this face-up card on the field is sent to the graveyard or banished, you destroy all monsters that you control, which is a great effect to be able to make all your Fire Kings go off. But it also has the ability that you can activate one of the following effects per turn. That during your main phase, you can destroy one monster in your hand or that you control. And if you do, add a Fire King monster from your deck to your hand. And, or if you control no monsters, you can special summon one Fire Wing Beast monster from your hand, which can be your copy of Garunix that you can instantly get on your side of the field. We then play a single copy of Onslaught of the Fire Kings. This card is basically like Unexpected Die, which is really cool. Because if your opponent controls a monster and you control no monster, you can special summon a fire beast beast warrior or wing beast monster from your deck its effects are negated and also it is destroyed during the end phase but you can only activate one of this card per turn this card is a really good one of the deck but i only feel like you need a single copy of this card in this build we then play two copies of Circle of the Fire Kings. This card is a great OTK piece in the deck because it basically lets you tag out your Fire Kings for one that's in the graveyard, which is really good because you target a Fire Monster that you control and a Fire Monster in your graveyard, destroy that monster that you control, and if you do special summon that other monster in your graveyard, which is a great effect to be able to use in this deck, but I only feel like you need two copies of this card because it's good in the late game. It's not really good in the early game, so I really like this card as a two of, and also it's searchable. We then play three copies of Fusion Destiny. Fusion Destiny is extremely important in this deck to be able to summon out our copy of our Destiny Hero Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer, and it's usually the last card in our hand that we activate to be able to summon out our boss monster. We then play three copies of Fire Formation Tanky. Tanky is really good in the deck to be able to search out a Beast Warrior that's level four or lower, and all of our Fire King monsters except for Garunix are Beast Warriors, so we can actually search them out with this card. We then play three copies of Supply Squad. Supply Squad says draw a card every single turn for every one of these that you have on the field, which is really good because once per turn, if a monster that you control is destroyed by battle or by card effect, you get to draw a card, which is really good in this deck. And this card is just a really good budget option over Prosperity because you can play this card extremely easily in this deck and draw a card every single turn off of each one of these. So that's it for the spells, guys. Let's get into the traps. So for the traps, we're just going to be playing a few traps, and we're going to be playing two copies of Solemn Strike. Solemn Strike is just really good to give you some protection from monsters, and it's just a great trap overall. And then we're playing three copies of Torrential Tribute. Torrential Tribute is in this deck because there's so much fire, we need a little bit of water in this deck, but this card is really good in the deck because when a monster is summoned, you destroy all monsters on the field, which will actually make your Fire Kings go off instead of putting them out, which is really cool. I love this card in this deck, and just helps out a lot to be able to destroy additional monsters on the field and when your opponent thinks that the onslaught of the fire kings is over you flip up a torrential tribute and it's on all over again so that's it for the main deck guys let's get into the extra deck 
So for the extra deck, we're going to be playing a single copy of Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer. This card works extremely well with this deck. It was just a great card to be able to summon out to the field because it pops cards on our field and our opponent's field, which is super helpful. We then play a single copy of Mech Knight Crusadia Avermax because it's very easy to summon to our side of the field and it's a really good boss monster. Play a single copy of Axis Code because it comes out and it's absolutely massive on the field with 5300 usually when we summon at the field and it can pop multiple cards on the field. We then play a single copy of Unicorn. Unicorn just spins stuff. One copy of Phoenix because it pops spells and traps. A Cerberus because it pops monsters like we need more of that in this deck. But it's really good for situational cards that we need to target specifically specifically one copy of blockade board blocker this card is really good in the deck as well because it helps us get our field spell back one copy of ip mask granite so we can make unicorn during the opponent's turn which is really good baguska because we can make this card just in case we need to wait it out a little bit against the opponent one copy of 101 101 is neat in this deck because it can take opponents monsters that we're not able to pop but we are able to target which is super helpful and also helps us get into our copy of zeus one copy of exiton knight because why not another board wipe in this deck one copy of the va zombie vampire this card mills cards to the graveyard which can help out with your copy of the circle the fire king circle which is really good one copy of phantom fortress because we can make in the deck and this card has four amazing effects that you just detach a material and then pick one of the four to activate to either banish a card that your opponent controls banish a random card from your opponent's hand banish a card from your opponent's graveyard or banish the top card of your opponent's deck face up which is a pretty good effect we then play a single copy of these Sacred Tree Bees because it is a walking the gate and it's really good in this deck as one of. And then finally, Double A Zeus because Double A Zeus is another board wipe in this deck. Because why not another one? Because it just helps out because this card actually sends to the graveyard and it doesn't destroy. So cards that can't be destroyed, this card can out. So that's it for the deck guys i hope you did enjoy it this deck is super fun to be able to play if you guys have never played fire king before you definitely should give the deck a try and it's actually fairly budget to be able to play fire king which is really nice because the extra deck is toolbox besides the copy of destroyer phoenix enforcer which i really like to summon in this deck so anyways guys this is dark arm duels don't forget to like comment subscribe hit the bell there so you can come part of the notification squad and we'll see you guys in the next video see you later guys